Hello guys, welcome back to a brand new video and welcome back to League One Predictions. Obviously going into international uh, week, um, so there will be one or two games called off um, in League One due to the international call-ups. Um, but any, anyway, nothing we could do about that. But guys, anyway, you know what to do. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching and let's go. So the first game I'm going to talk about is Coventry City versus Tramia. Coventry City losing 4-0 away to Rotherham. Tramia beating Shrewsbury. Uh, losing Shrewsbury, sorry, at home 1-0. Um, disappointing day for Coventry. I didn't expect Rotherham to, to um, you know, turn up like that. Um, no disrespect to Rotherham whatsoever, but I expect a lot more of Coventry. Um, Tramie on the other hand, yeah, probably expecting just as much. So as far as this game goes, because it's back at St Andrews as you can tell behind me, I'm going to go for a 2-0 scoreline for that one. My next one is Blackpool versus Rotherham. Blackpool... 2-2, uh, two, two, uh, not 2-2, two, 0-0 two, nil, nil away for, from uh, at, Bol um, at Bolton, yeah, 0-0 nil, nil away at Bolton, um, and Wolfram, just as you mentioned, 4-0 winners at home against Coventry, great three points for um, Wolfram, as I said, a bit disappointed on Coventry City side, but on the other foot, Great day for all of them. Um, I ain't going to knock it. They must have turned up. They must have done something because not a lot of teams can get that against Coventry. I'm expecting this season. Um, Blackpool, I'm going to mention Bolton. And I'm, why I'm going to mention Bolton is because Bolton have not got a game this weekend. Um, there was a, a result that neither team plays this weekend, which is Fleetwood and Itchridge. Um, but because of Blackpool plan Bolton, I will mention Bolton, but if you want me to mention that Fleetwood result um, in next week's predictions, please feel free to put it down in the comments below, and I will talk about that next week. Um, but Blackpool now now away to Bolton, disappointing day for Blackpool, I do think. I do think that Bolton deserve all three points as well in that game. Um, I don't, you know, Bolton have got a long way to, to climb. Um, but, you know, good point for Bolton. As I said, probably deserve all three, just couldn't get it. But a point to point, puts them on minus eight, puts them a step closer to safety as well. Um, but, you know, you ha we have got to look at Bolton, unfortunately, for this season, as just trying to stay in the championship. Um, great news that they've been taken over. Obviously, I mentioned that when it happened. Just a shame Berry couldn't do the same. But I'm sure Berry will, will bounce back one day. Um, but great point for Bolton, as I've just said. Disappointing day for Blackpool. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm going to go for a 1-1 one, one scoreline for that one. My next one is Bristol Rovers versus MK Dons. Bristol Rovers, I don't think, played. Please put it down in the comments below if I'm wrong. Um, but MK Dons loses 3-0 at home to Burton Albion. This point day for MK Dons. Um, MK Dons as well is... What I've been hearing and seeing, and they don't always want to come, you know, being on their way back up the ladder. Um, same as a lot of teams in the championship, like it's Bolton. Um, but MK, that Burton Albion result, no disrespect to MK Dons, that's a result you, sh you need to win if you're going to go back up to the championship. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm going to go for a 2-1 MK Dons win for that one. My next game is supposed to be Burton Albion versus Bolton Wanderers. As I've said, postponed international call-ups. 
So my next game is Oxford, Oxford United versus Doncaster Rovers. Doncaster losing at home to Portsmouth 2-1. Oxford 2-2 away to Accrington Stanley. Um, summing that up on... So if I sum that up on uh, Oxford's point of view... I say that's a good point, but only you Oxford fans know more um, about me whether that is a good point or not, or do deserve very Please feel free to put your comments down below. Doncaster, on the other hand, had a disappointing day at home against Portsmouth. There's no disrespect to Portsmouth. I say it mostly in my Premier League predictions, but I sort of... I ain't going to say what I usually say, but Doncaster, looking back up to the Championship, Portsmouth is a game you need to win as well. Um, but great three points for Portsmouth, I'll talk about that when I get down to their fixture. Let's stick on Port's, uh, Doncaster's point of view. Disappointed, really disappointed. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm going to go for a, another one all scoreline for that one. My next one is Peterborough versus Lincoln. Peterborough 3-3 away to Wickham. Lincoln beating Sunderland 2-0 at home. Great three points for Lincoln. Peterborough probably is a great point away to Wickham. Um, but Lincoln beating Sunderland at home after losing their managers, I think their new manager's in charge now. Um, I, I do try and keep up with all the news and that, but there's so much going around, it's, it is hard to keep up sometimes. But great three points for Lincoln, none of the wiser. Um, against Sunderland as well, promotional candidates, um, Sunderland, especially this season. I don't know what it was, such as last season with Sunderland, but you know, this season, but it's the same when you go anyway, you know, you're gonna cause a shock like that, Sunderland is probably the best team to do it to, no disrespect to any other team in League One, um, but great three points for Lincoln, hopefully move on this weekend with them three points, just mentioned Peterborough, 3-3, three, three, uh, draw away to Wickham, as far as this game goes, I'm going to give it back to Lincoln and I'm going to go for a 2-1 scoreline for that one. My next one is Portsmouth versus Gillingham. Gillingham beating Southend 3-1 at home. Portsmouth beating Doncaster Rovers away 2-1. Um, great three points for Portsmouth. As, as I said, I weren't expecting that result, that's no disrespect to Portsmouth. Obviously Portsmouth deserved the three points. Something else I always look at my football as well is, um, you know, if a team turns up and gets three points, they must deserve it. Um, a bit like a clash of the Titans, really. Um, just don't know what I'm about, it's basically a top team versus bottom team. I know Portsmouth ain't, you know, quite that low down, but Low enough to call it that, I personally do think. As I said, as I do say, it's just my opinion. Um, but great three points for Portsmouth. Hopefully, continue this weekend. Um, but as far as this game goes, I'm going to go for a 3 1 Portsmouth win. My next one is Rochdale versus Accrington Stanley. Accrington Stanley 2 2 at home to Oxford. Rochdale, um, beating, uh, sorry, losing to AFC Wimbledon 3-2 away from home. No, no real shocks in both results. I mean, let's go with the scoreline for this one, and I'll go for a nil-nil scoreline for that one. Right, I'll give you my last prediction in just a minute, but I'm going to say this now. My last game this weekend was supposed to be Sunderland versus Fleetwood. International call-ups, games postponed. Um, 
But if you'd like to see me do predictions on catch-up games, please feel free to drop it down in the comments below. Um, but my last game for this weekend is Southend versus AFC Wimbledon. AFC Wimbledon, 3-2 winners at home to Rochdale. Southend losing 3-1 away to Gillingham. Uh, this, uh, you know, great three points for Wimbledon. Um, disappointing day from Southend, which is why as far as this result goes, I'm going to go for a 3-0 ASC Wimbledon win. But guys, anyway, you know what to do. Give us a big fat thumbs up if you enjoy it. Subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Ciao for now.